Hello guys and welcome back to CE Box Tutorial Channel. So this is our situation number 14 from CE Board Exam May 2022 for the Structural Engineering and Construction. Okay, so before we start solving this situation, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So the line of action of the force P coincides with the axis of the angle which is at distance A is equivalent to 29 millimeters from the back of the connected length. Properties of one angle is 100 by 100 by 8 millimeters. The area of the angle is 1770 millimeters squared. The FY or yield stress is 248 megapascal. And the allowable weld shear stress is 93 megapascal. Number one, determine the maximum tensile capacity of the angle. And so, ang tinatanong dito is yung allowable. Okay? So, number one, yung P allowable. Okay? So, yung P allowable natin is magagaling sa nominal um, nominal load okay, or nominal strength over the factor of safety. So, kung ASD tayo, syempre is ito kasi ano tayo, allowable. Okay? So, sa ASD, ang ating factor of safety dito is equivalent to 1.67. Okay? Or, simply, ang ating uh, allowable is 1 over 1.67, no? Ang ating allowable strength is 0.60. Okay? Allowable is equivalent to 0.60 of nominal strength. And, ang ating nominal strength dito, since buo kasi ito, ba? So, since buo yan, ang gagamitin natin is FY. So, yield. Okay? Pang yield siya. Hindi tayo pwede sa rupture. Lalo na wala namang butas. Okay? Wala naman tayong connection dito na bolt. Kaya, hindi natin gagamitin yung ating nominal area. Kaya, wala tayong rupture or fracture. So, since uh, gross area ang gagamitin natin, kaya ang ginamit natin na factor of safety is 1.67 and ang ating uh, stress is FY. Then, mumultiply natin sa ating gross area. So, ang ating FY is 248. Multiply natin sa area. So, that is 1,770. And then, divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilo newton. So, this is 439.96. Oops, 439 ba? Okay, so 438 pala, sorry. 0.96 kilo newton. Therefore, makukuha natin yung ating allowable strength. So, multiplied natin ng 0.60. So, this is 263.376. Okay? Kilo Newton. Pero, syempre, yung answer dito, Newton. Same lang naman yan. Pinago lang natin yung unit. Okay? Next, determine the value of L2 using 6mm fillet weld. And, so, para doon sa L2 natin. So, um... Siyempre, ang ating L2 is dito, no? Sa ating weld. Tapos, meron tayong allowable weld shear. So, dito natin siya kukunin. Yan, sa ating allowable weld shear. So, ang ating uh, allowable shear stress dito is equivalent to shear force over area. Hindi ba? So, let's say meron tayo ditong shear force. Okay? Siyempre, yung shear force natin is magagaling sa P. Meron tayong shear force para sa L1. And ito yung ating shear force para sa L1. Ito naman yung ating shear force para sa L2. So yung ating shear force na gagamitin para dito is yung shear force 2 over area. Ang area natin, actually meron na kami dito, uh, di ba, previous problem about dito. Ayan. Ganyan kasi yung ating pili, di ba? Tapos i natin na 45 degrees to. Tapos, Makukuha natin ng ating thickness dito, I mean, uh, I mean base. Okay, base natin is 0 0.707 multiplied by thickness. Then, multiply natin sa length. So, this is 0 0.707 multiplied by thickness multiplied by length. So, meron tayong thickness. Ang thickness natin ay 6 millimeters. So, ano ang kailangan natin kunin? Kailangan natin kunin yung uh, shear tube. Kasi meron naman tayong shear stress eh, 93 Mega Pascal. So, yung ating shear 2, makukuha natin by what? 
by taking moment here. Okay, so let's say this is point 0.1. Okay, then this is our point 0.2. So mag-moment na lang tayo rito, hindi ba? Para mag-cancel out yung uh, shear 1 natin. Kasi kapag pinupunta itong shear 1 natin, pwede rin naman, then makukuha natin yung L1. Pero yung L2 kasi yung gusto natin makuha, di ba? Yung L2 dito, uh, yung L natin dito is yung L2. Ayan. Okay, so hintay na lang ulit natin ito mag-update. <laughs> At ayaw mabura. Pinulugan ko pa. Okay. So anyway, mag-moment tayo sa, ano, sa 1. So summation of moment at point 1 is equivalent to 0. Clockwise is positive. Ang ikot ng pin natin ay counterclockwise. So that is negative. Ang ating pin yan is syempre magagaling sa P allowable natin na 263.376 multiplied by ang length nito is 100. Then, minus A, which is 29. Okay. Then, yung ating shear 2 is clockwise. So, that is positive D2 multiplied by 100. Is equivalent to 0. So, makukuha natin ang ating shear 2. So, negative 263.376 multiplied by 100 minus 29. Plus, shear 2 multiplied by 100 is equivalent to 0. So, ang ating uh, V2 is... Okay, so, 186.997. 186.997 kilo ton. So, mula rito, kunin na lang natin yung area. Okay? So, ang ating area is equivalent to shear 2 over shear stress. So, ang ating shear, uh, shear force is kilo newton. Convert natin into newton. So, times 10 raised to 3. Then, over shear. Uh, Stress na 93 megapascal. So, this is 2010.72. And this is area. Kaya, millimeter squared. Kaya, makukuha natin ng L2. Didivide natin yung ating area ng 0.707 multiplied by thickness na 6. So, ang ating L2 ay 474. Ayan. 474 millimeters. Next, number 3. Ang pinapahanap ulit is L2. Pero this time, mag a tayo ng weld connection. Doon sa end, okay? Sa end ng ating angle bar. So, nasaan ang end ng ating angle bar? Dito. Okay? So, mag a tayo daw dyan ng weld. So, since mag a tayo dito ng weld, makakaroon na naman tayo ng panibagong shear force. So, sabi natin ito ay shear 3. Yan. Then, ganun ulit. Kunin natin yung ating shear force V2. So, bago yun, kailangan natin makuha yung V3. So, simple lang yan. Uh, unlike kasi ito sa ating shear force 2, kasi unknown yung L2, ba? Pero yung ating V3, known naman yung, ano, yung kanyang length. Ang kanyang length ay yung length ng ating angle bar. Kaya, yung ating shear V3 is equivalent to 0.707. Multiplied by thickness. Okay, ang thickness niya ay 5. Then multiplied by allowable shear stress na 93. Ito yung ating shear force 3. So, 0 0.707 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 93. Then multi uh, divided by 1000. Kasi uh, kilo newton ang ating kinukuha. Na? Uh, wait lang. 0 0.707. Ah, sorry, sorry. Pati length pa pala. Ayan. Multiplied by 100. Yung length natin. This is 100 only. Ayan. Then, divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilonewton. So, this is 32.376. Kilonewton. Tama ba? Okay. 876. Uh, ah, sorry, sorry. 876. Yan. Okay, so mag-moment ulit tayo sa 1. So, summation of moment at 1 is equivalent to 0. Clockwise is positive. So, ganun ulit. Um, negative 263.376 multiplied by uh, 100 minus 29. Then, shear 2 na unknown. Then, multiplied by 100. Tapos, yung ating V2. 
3 clockwise siya. so v3 which is 32.876 multiplied by syempre yung ating ano connection ay nasa 100 di ba so ang ating uh, v3 ay nakalokit sa gitna ng 100 so that is 50 millimeters so, makukuha natin ang ating shear 2 negative 263.376 multiplied by 100 minus 29 plus shear 2 multiplied by 100 plus shear 3 na 32.876 multiplied by 50. It's equivalent to 0. So 170.559. 170.559 kilo new. Yan. Okay? So makukuha na natin yung, ano, yung L2. So punin mo natin yung A. Ang A natin ngayon is shear stress multiplied by, oh sorry, uh, shear 2 uh, shear two pala, sorry, shear 2 over shear stress. So, 170.559 times 10 ratio 3 over 93. So, this is 1833.968. 968. Millimeter squared. So, ngayon, Masod natin ang panibagong L2. So, 1833.968 over yung area, no? Ay, or, sorry, sorry. Yung, ano? Yung base, that is 0 0.707 multiplied by thickness. Ang thickness natin ay 6 millimeters. So, 432.34. 432.34. Four. So, iba siya dun sa nakuha nating answer dito. Uh, kasi upon checking mula rito, may tamali ata sa solution dun. Um, ang nangyari kasi ito, okay, itong uh, V2 na to, nilagay niya rito. So, ito yung ginawa niyang ano, P2. Ayan. Tapos, ito ginawa niyang P3. Tapos, kinuha niya itong 32.876 na punta rito sa P3. Okay, so, iba yun, di ba? Ang moment arm kasi nito is 100. Anyway, um, yung may moment arm pa na ano, na 71, yung 71 kasi ito, di ba? Yung 100 minus A, that is 71 millimeters. Ang ginamitan niya ng moment arm na 71, imbis yung P, is yung V2, which is equivalent to 186.997. So, dito niya kinuha. So, I think dun siguro nagkamali. Okay? Dapat kasi ang solution is ito. Yung P multiplied by 71, ito yun. Then plus V2 multiplied by 100. Then plus V3 multiplied by... So, dito lang nagkamali. Okay, so, ayun. I think tama pa rin naman itong uh, ating L2. Kasi, yung solution lang naman natin sa L2 dito sa number 3 is galing lang din naman sa concept natin dito sa number 2. And nakuha naman natin yung tamang sagot dito sa number 2. So, ibig sabihin, same lang. Ang mangyari kasi, dito sa ating summation of moment at 1, madagdagan lang tayo ng another shear force V3 dahil nagkaroon tayo ng uh, additional 12 na ang thickness ay 5. Okay? So, this is our situation number 14 from CE board exam May 2022. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this uh, video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye!